Hi guys, this is Robert here from Lifepreneur, living uh, day by day, hour by hour. Guys, I want to talk to you about the um, home-based business. Back in late December, I did a, a five-part series of knowing your options. And these are for people that are like in a job and they want to go uh, further ahead and maybe start their own business. It could be traditional, it could be non-traditional, which is this here. And uh, I went from going from a job all the way to uh, home-based businesses and everything in between. And so now what I want to do is I want to focus in and do a three-part series on home-based businesses. And just kind of give you, I'm not going to tell you which ones that you should take or which ones you should do. This is more of a general, general outline of what you can expect from a home-based business. Now I've done all I've done all three, and two of them I've, I'm doing currently because I think it's just dynamite, just the way it's laid out. Okay, so when people think of home-based business, what do you think? How do you feel when I say that word? Do you feel that someone's going to hunt you down to the ends of the earth? Do you think that someone's going to show up at your front door and try to sell you soap? Home-based businesses are a, are a legit a revenue making business that you can do from home. It's actually incredible that what you can do with a home based business. The unfortunate thing is is that back in the 70s, 80s and 90s when we had the MLM businesses, it actually it was it was good on paper. It was it was good for the time, but as time went on, um, the methods of doing that type of business has totally changed. Now when you talk about MLM businesses, people cringe and they get all weirded out because they think you're going to chase them down to the ends of the earth. You, they think you're Al-Qaeda and they think they're God's gift to the earth. <laughs> Anyways, um, that being said, I want to just discuss with you the different types and what you can expect from a home-based business. Now, now some of these options, I'm going to tell you, some of these options are better than some. So let's start off with traditional business. In traditional business, and I'm going to go and break this down into three parts, and I'm going to get into a little bit more, uh, a little bit more um, detailed in all of this. But let's start off with the traditional uh, MLM. The MLM business starts off that you have a company, okay, that creates a product or service, and how it works is basically they need a sales force. So what they do is they bring in distributors and how it works is it's people telling to, telling to, telling to, and so on and for, so on, uh, so forth. And you grow this business, but the problem is, is it's you and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people into the deal. Okay. Now this is where it gets the bad name. Unfortunately, uh, it's run its course. And um, some of the companies have a great product, but MLMers, this is all about pushing the product. Okay, so the the, the second, and I'm gonna get in detail in this in in the series to come, but this is just an intro of what I'm gonna be doing, and then we'll get into the nuts and bolts in each of these opportunities. The second one is direct sales and consulting. Okay, here you have a company okay that produces a product or service they do the advertising the general public buy into the product and service okay now this is where it gets very interesting instead of being a distributor you become a consultant and then what you do is you buy the rights of the client so what you can do is you can buy a whole group of a whole group of people it could be anywhere from like 61 to 1,000 to uh, 2,000 people. And then what you do is based on your success rate on the product and service, you turn around and you help these people have a wellness experience or have a good healthy or a good experience with the product by just telling them how to use it. You're not telling them to, set, to buy it because they've already bought it up here with the company. But what, you, what you've done is you bought the rights to the client from the company and so now when anytime there's a sale that comes out of this okay a percentage goes to you and then a percentage goes back to the company 
I think that's incredible. Now the last one is direct and indirect sales, which is online marketing. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Basically, it's all about the internet. Okay, and really what you're doing is you're bringing people down to you. And you're using the internet as a platform to put value, add value. And what you're doing is you're bringing people into the funnel. Okay, so anyways, that's enough of that. I'm going to be actually discussing each one of these in further detail. But this is just uh, the intro to home-based businesses, alternatives of, of creating options, and giving you the power to profit. Guys, I want to thank you for coming out. Guys, there's, uh, there's a link on the bottom, creatingoptions.com, if you want to get some more insight in the home-based business, especially this, these types over here, not necessarily that type there. Um, and nothing against that, but it's, it's old school. But I wanted to help you guys, and, um, and we can go move forward. So guys, if you see the link, check out the link, sign up, sign up for a newsletter. Um, and this is Robert here from Lifepreneur creator of options with power to profit. We'll see you guys on the next, uh, on the other side. Bye-bye.